Okay, so once you've attached all of your four gas rams, and they're both ottomans in the up position, we just have to identify which two sides are going to go together. It's quite simple. You'll do this by looking at the lids. On the inside of the lids, you'll see that there's an unupholstered side. That indicates that it's the middle of the bed. If you also have a look at the outside of the bed, you've got a rounded edge on the outside, whereas the inside edge is square. So all we're going to do is we're going to dress the bed into position, push the two halves together, just make sure it's all nice and square, and now we've got to connect the two halves. So this particular model uses the clamps, so we're just going to address the clamps onto either half, give them a quick tap with your mallet, one at the front and then one at the back. That's going to attach both halves together. Now it's important for me to tell you that depending on the type of ottoman that you select, they are going to attach slightly differently. This company have decided to use the clamp system because it allows for a little bit of flex, depending if your floor is absolutely not 100% flat for an old house, for example. Ottoman like this one over here does a very similar thing, but rather than using the U-clamp system, it's going to use a plate. Again, that's just going to allow for a little bit of flex on there. The third type is actually this one around here. Take you on a quick tour of the shop. Third ottoman. So this one down here is actually going to use a bolt through system. So rather than having a U-clamp on the top and on the bottom, they've actually got a bolt going through. All of these are going to achieve exactly the same thing. They're going to attach the bottom half of the base together. So now we've got to do the top of the ottoman. For this we're going to need a pair of scissors or a sharp blade. I like to use scissors because I'm not allowed to use blades. You have to identify both halves of the base. One half, if you just come around here please. You're going to see there's an upholstered piece underneath. Now here we're going to feel for a hole. Same as we do when we're making a headboard, it's there. Show me finger. So we're going to use... Do you want to come around this side? So I've used my scissors and I've made a hole. What this is going to do is this is going to allow for my bolt to come through this lid. And if I bring this side down for you, so it's a little bit fiddly, you can see the holes right there. I'll purse that hole. That's where the receiver is to take this bolt. Now the bolt is going to go through this lid, through the hole provided, into the receiver, and that's going to connect both halves. So when we lift the ottoman bed up and down, both halves are going to come up at the same time. So now it's just a case of popping your bolt through, screwing him up. Like I'm not going to do it completely because you get the idea. And that's it. That's your ottoman put together. All that's left to do now is for you to attach your headboard. For that, see the video on how to attach headboards.